over or stopping at the side of the road. It seems fairly straightforward, but there are a few things you need to consider. Here's a raised kerb. Good place to park because I'm not blocking anything. But over there, there's a drop kerb. As you can see, this drop kerb leads to someone's property. If I was to park in front of this and block someone's access to their home, I'm sure they'll be very unhappy with me. Here are a few examples of where you should not park. On yellow lines, next to a bus stop, next to a dropped kerb for wheelchair access, or near a fire hydrant normally marked by a yellow stripe on the kerb. If the fire brigade need to put out a fire and your car is in the way of their water access, they will probably end up damaging your car trying to gain access to the water supply. A good way to judge how close you are to the kerb is to line the kerb up with the bottom of your window. As you can see here, the kerb lines up with my windscreen wiper, just there. What you want to do is park well. Once you've parked well, remember where the kerb is at the bottom of your window, wherever it is. Remember that point, so next time you're parking, all you need to do is line the kerb up with that point and you should be a good distance. This is where the kerb lines up when I've parked very far from the kerb. And this is where the kerb lines up when I've parked very close to the kerb. But I know now that around about here is just about right. Aim to be around about five centimeters from the kerb. If you aim to get like one centimeter from the kerb, you are very likely to hit it. But if you aim for five centimeters, if you get a little bit closer, you're still okay. If you get a little bit further, you're still okay. Once you start to get about as far away as 20 centimeters, then you are getting too far. When you're looking for a safe place to stop, it can actually be quite hard to find one. The trouble is, you're moving so quickly that by the time you see your spot, you've driven past it. So don't be afraid to slow down and take a closer look. It's absolutely fine. For example, now I can see a possible space after that car, but I'm not sure. There could be yellow lines there. So I'm just gonna slow down and take a closer look. Turns out there is yellow lines there, so I simply check my mirrors to make sure it's safe to carry on and accelerate until I find the next space. I might be able to park here actually, so I slow down a little bit, have a closer look. Looks like I can. It's a centre left mirror. It's a car behind, so I indicate left to tell I'm stopping. Covering the brake and clutch, using the brake to slow down. Clutch down now, I'm slow, and the revs are below 1000 RPM. Release the brake a little bit so I can line up with the kerb. When I'm happy with my position, Simply brake, finish the stop, handbrake up so I can come off the foot brake without rolling down the hill, into neutral so I can come off the clutch without stalling, and then cancel the signal. Now to move on to observations and signalling to pull over. You need to check your centre mirror and your left mirror. If there's anyone behind you, indicate left to warn them that you're going to pull over. If you see a cyclist on your left in your left wing mirror, still pull over. When they see your signal, they should be sensible enough to slow down and pass you on your right. If, however, they try to pass you on the left, still try to pull over, just make sure you don't steer into them. Stopping on the right-hand side of the road is very similar to stopping on the left. The only problem is you've got oncoming cars to think about. You mustn't make any of those brake or steer because you pull in front of them. So when you go to pull over on the right, simply check your centre mirror to see what's behind, your right mirror to see what's to the right, making sure no one's overtaking you, put your right signal on, and then if there is oncoming cars, wait in your lane until they pass. When they have passed, move over to park on the right in a similar fashion to how you'd park on the left. Of course, your reference point now at the bottom of the window to know how far you are from the curb will be different. Thank you for watching. I'm planning to upload a full repertoire of videos for learning to drive in the UK. If you want to receive the videos as I upload them, please subscribe.